The Sound Lab. 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 Experimenting with the best new music. Skunk and Nancy, how are you guys? We are great, thank you. We are on mid tour. We've just come back to England, mm. so we've done. Uh, the whole of Europe, we've gone into Eastern Europe as well for the last six weeks or something like that in, in the heat wave of yep. Europe. So that's been really um, exciting at our own festivals in Italy, sold out shows in between festivals. And we kind of got to the point just before we had a little break last week where we played Poland mm-hmm. and we did um, Poland Rocks, which is their Woodstock, 700,000 people headlining yeah. it. Very amazing. Skin's, How was it? Skin's birthday, awesome. <laughs> Number one in the rock charts. It was it was a momentous occasion. It actually made Glastonbury look like a club. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, over here in the UK, Glastonbury is kind of the iconic festival. And yeah, yeah, you've headlined it. How, we, how was that? We have in indeed. It was in 1999. Yeah, was, we were yeah. the last the last band to headline Glastonbury of the 20th century. Mm, so. True. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that was wicked. I I just remember playing, what was it, charity mm. or hedonism, and all it was was a sea of lights. Mm. Everyone had their lighters out. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was before the advent of everyone having kind of lights in their cameras or yeah, in yeah. their phones. And so it was beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. I'd, yeah. Love, I'd love to play it again one day. Yeah, I'm, sh- I'm sure you might do. Uh, I'm sure we will it's too. still going on, <laughs> So, uh, but you did take a little, bit of a, a little bit of a break, and then you've come back, and you've been writing some new music since and you've got a new single out at the moment tell us about the new single um the, the new single our new single what you do for love yeah um basically we went off um a couple of months ago and we did a writing session so we did lots of pooling lots of ideas we always go into some remote places usually where the phone doesn't work <laughs> and uh, actually yeah, we, to... Went to, we went to a lambing farm yeah. uh, in devon somewhere wasn't it yeah, yeah and we had to you had to literally walk in the field to like get <laughs> one bar on your phone which was really good for us so we did a session and we had a few songs come out of there what you do for love was one of them mm-hmm. um we recorded it with uh, cam blackwood yep, yeah right. and uh, he's like a, a radical kind of like crazy man right and it was really fun the whole process was like just nutty fun mm. um and we did that and it just came out on the tour jeremy wheatley mixed it who's been our long-term kind of partner in mixing stuff you know um and uh, it's doing well it was said it was number one at the rock charts in mm-hmm. poland the other day yep. and it's a song basically about saying what what you do for love is like some of the things that people do that in the name of love like you know i love my country so much that i've done this to other people mm-hmm. or i love my god so much i've sacrificed these people and things like that so it's like the the crimes people commit in the name of love mm-hmm. ah, excellent fantastic and now and is this the start of things to come or is this a one-off single oh no no it's not one-off single so it's just that the music <laughs> industry's changed to the point where you you can now you don't have to really make an album because if you've released an album people cherry pick what they listen to yeah. anyway and the, the kind of whole record sales thing doesn't really exist anymore because it's all about streaming music mm-hmm. and so we're just going to be recording as and when we want to and mm. release as and when we want yep. to because yeah. we can we've been around for 25 <laughs> years yeah <laughs> yeah we Good. don't have to abide by any rules anymore yeah so do you have songs kind of in the pipeline ready maybe ready to go maybe maybe yeah no, yeah. we will, we, we're yeah. playing one song on on this live tour at the moment that we haven't recorded yet, mm-hmm. okay. and we'll be recording that as soon as we get off the tour. Do you think that's going to be the next next single to release? Do you it's think a it's gonna killer. Be... It's going to hurt somebody. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's not going to be the next single to release. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The thing is about <laughs> things about the releasing of uh, <laughs> the thing is about releasing of music today as well is you have to drop the single at the time people know about it mm. because if you're trying to promote it beforehand and you put it out you've lost the buzz yeah. so it's like literally like hey everybody today this comes out and mm-hmm. so we keep it a secret until we've got it all together and then you just drop well, it it's not you know? a secret anymore is it well I mean the actual song. Oh, we haven't yeah. said the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we yeah. just play it every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> At least your fans have it kind of mentally noted now that there's something coming on on yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is about, like, Skink says on stage, we wouldn't be skunk if we only played old songs. Mm. So every time we've been out before, we've either been doing a new album 
you know, and mixing it with some of the old stuff, you know, and this time we've come out and we've got new singles in there, you know, yeah. instead of like the, the new album tracks. So it always has to regenerate, Skunk. It's fresh and you, even with the crowds, you know, the people, you look at the front row, it's, it's you know, it's all young people and, and, you know, maybe some of the older ones stand a little bit further back than they yeah, used to, yeah. but we still got a bunch of older people on the front row holding up the people. <laughs> so it's, it's Skunk, whole thing about Skunk is being fresh, regenerating, yeah. always moving forwards. Yeah. Uh, 25 years. Yeah. Uh, it's been a, it's been a long time. It's been a good career for you guys. How have you developed yourselves, the music since you first started in the nineties through till today? Um, I think we've developed like people evolve, right? You know, like as you go through your life, you learn more stuff, you know more things, you get better at things you 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 have more culture in you you know things like that as a as a person skunk is a reflection of that in mm. music so we're better players hopefully we're a bit better at songwriting and recording <laughs> you know uh, i think we're more socially aware you know um we we follow trends as well as everybody else we don't stay in our our safe box yep. you know things like that so that's the whole thing about skunk that's why we've got the energy that's why we've got the passion and also like when we're live i think we're heavier now than we've ever been yeah. you know i was listening to ben's virtual sound check and i was like oh my god it's like <laughs> it, it, the, the way we play together i think it's even better you know yeah good yeah. good and, wh and what's the outlook going forward to the future still keeping oh, going it's and just open yeah open-ended well, we're, we're not going to stop playing you know mm. Unless one of us pops off. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have had to keep an eye on Mark lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he collapsed in one show. It was so mm. hot. Yeah. Yeah, no, but, you know, we, we, we have a really nice vibe in our band. Everyone loves each other. And we play because we love playing with each other. Good. We don't play because of any contract, because we're our own record company. Yeah, yeah. We're completely independent. And so we do it because we want to do it. Good. Yeah. That's an that's ideal way to go forward. Yeah. And uh, having been in the industry for so long... Is there anything that you, you wish you had told yourself back if you could now go back in time and tell your younger self to do this or be aware of this? No. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Lemmy, Lemmy, Lemmy once said to me, there ain't no pension in rock and roll. <laughs> right? I wish I'd started a pension plan 25 years ago. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Yeah, that's that's my advice to myself. Yeah. You know? And uh, any any bands starting off now looking yeah. to get into the industry, what, what would you say to them? Do you know what? I think this is really important, actually, right? It's about the music, mm -hmm. right? And it's about the art and all this art. Everything else around you, your social media, your look, your this, that, your Instagram, is just a little bit of adding to it, right? And I think people will get obsessed by that, that that's the making of them as an artist. It's not. There's so much music out there. We're saturated, right? And there's lots of bad music, right? So if you're a really good player, you write really good songs, you're really good at your art, and you, you make that, it comes from the song. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes from. And I think people forget that. So if you're a young artist now, do that. Concentrate on the music and the song, and the rest will follow. Great music will make the path for you. You know, and then after that is know the business of your business. So if you want to survive longer, become independent. Mm -hmm. Look into your own labels. Try to work out your own contracts. Know what you want if you're going to sign a contract. And that's that's what the big, pit, the big pitfalls of the past, wasn't it? It was artists signing bad deals and not knowing the business and becoming broke and having to end. Whereas we've seen people like Stormzy and people like that coming through who are independent. And they're, they're ruling it, but no one can stop them because they are their own thing. Like Skunk are. We're mm. our own record company, our own business. People can't stop us. They can't tell us what to do and they can't demand things from us. And that's the problem with the old record company story structure was that the record companies used to kind of uh, influence and uh, sometimes dominate where artists were going and what kind of music they should do and what they should how they should look and it, it's if, you, if your record company's telling you you know what kind of music to do and what you're supposed to look like you're in the wrong business yeah and then there's the classic line yeah. you are the best at doing you so be yourself you know and you being unique everyone is unique so be yourself let the honesty and your personality come through your music with quality music. That's the key to success, I think. Good. Excellent. Well, it's been a pleasure. Brilliant. Thank Having you. a chat with you both. Thank yes, you. On our fantastic tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice tour bus. The it's, life it's up of there luxury. with the best. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. The Sound Lab. 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 Experimenting with the best new music.